Well, we weren't around uh, for the opening of Roosevelt Raceway back in the 40s, but Spencer Ross and yours truly, Dave Johnson, we were around for many, many television nights starting in 1974 for me. When did you start with the Stan I Bergstein? I started uh, late 77, and I worked with uh, our wonderful friend Stan Bergstein for almost eight years. It, it was one of the most enjoyable times of my life. And Stan, you know, we, we it just seems like... You know, he left us a, a few months ago, but he passed away in 2011 at the age of 86, and he was the youngest guy that I've ever worked with, even when he was in his uh, upper years. What a terrific guy he was, and he was a mentor to both of us. Well, a mentor to both of us, and when I think of Stan, and I think of all the analysts I've worked with, iconic names in sports like, you know, like Joe Namath, Mickey Mantle, and, you know, down, down the list, there's nobody, nobody who I ever worked with who knew more about his sport than Stanley Bergstein knew about his sport. Hey, watching that opening with Chris Schenkel, yes. I got chills. There's Stan, there's Stan and you, oh, a very yeah. youthful, a very youthful Dave John. But watching the opening just completely blew me away. That was great stuff. I've still got that tie. <laughs> You're know, wearing it tonight. No, not, 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 not quite. You know, when, they, when Sonny Werblin took over Roosevelt, and I was doing the show, he said to me, there's Stan Bergstein, the, the, the giant of all the giants in harness racing, and one of the most wonderful people that I've ever known. I, I, I said the greatest of the great when it came to knowing his sport. But when Sonny Werblin took over, he came to me and said, I want you to use this phrase when you introduce the show. Where it all began, where it is today, welcome to Roosevelt Raceway. And you know something? Where it all began, and it is today, was what Roosevelt Raceway was because when George Morton Levy opened that track, it completely opened the doors to a harness racing boom period. But you know, Spencer, the television show opened horn harness racing to a lot of people cross country. This was before cable television. And in the 1970s, they put us on uh, the superstation, WOR, which was nationwide. So we really got a lot of exposure for the game and for you know the, the stars of the of the sport some of them are still here i mean uh, you know back in the 70s we had uh, top drivers at roosevelt raceway but some of them are still around well today. tonight's the audie cutler memorial and audie of course was the man who founded carmine's restaurants in new york and ollie's and docks and not many people know this but i told carmine because he didn't know it i said you know artie cutler named his restaurant not for any italian <laughs> chef or anything like that he named it for carmine abatello did uh, he really oh yeah he named it for carmine abatello he had such a great love for harness racing and such a great love for for carmine abatello you know on saturday nights uh, a lot of people gathered around their tvs we were able to be there before the next program on the superstation which was professional wrestling which was extremely popular i remember one time stan and i were in the stage deli and a guy came up to us and said oh you're the guys who were on before wrestling i had that happen to me <laughs> I, had that, I had that happen to me one time at actually and you know you were talking about the superstation and everything i told you the story that doing a function which would involve the 3,000 hit players in, uh, in baseball, from Willie Mays to Rod Carew to Pete Rose to George Brett to Al Kaline to Stan Musial. And Pete Rose is talking to me, he says, I know you from somewhere, you did Yankee baseball, but I'm a National League guy and I, I, I don't never, saw, but why do I know you? And all of a sudden it hit me. Pete Rose, I said, Pete, how about racing from Roosevelt and racing from Yonk? That's right, you and Stan Bergstein, I remember you guys. And isn't it great, we want to thank <laughs> Jeff Gorell and the people here, yeah. this wonderful staff at the new Meadowlands, which is really something. And if you haven't been out here, you got to check it out, whether it's for simulcasting or live racing. It is absolutely spectacular, state of the art, and it is it is a wonderful place. But gee, it's fun to be here on this Roosevelt Legacy Night. Well, where it all began, where it is today, and right now it's right here at the Meadowlands. But uh, thank you, Sonny Werblin, thank you, Jeff Gorell. And, and thank you, David. Uh, just yeah, it's, uh, it's great seeing you again. Wish that it, uh, we had Frank Wright, who was also part yeah, of our right, team, right. and Stan to be along, but they're in our memories forever. Oh, forever indeed. So nice to be here. We'll be enjoying the evening along with you. Let's send it over to Bob Hayden. Hollywood. Hollywood. Hollywood.